Hey, how's it going, Jerry? Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I made for you. In this video analysis, I'm going to show you exactly where you are on the internet, um, how many clicks you get to your website, how much business you get versus your competitors, um, and exactly what it's going to take to dominate the market online and corner up to 70% of these motivated buyers looking for a roofing company in your area. All right. Um, so as you can see, we're on my business site. My company's Amp Local. We're an internet marketing agency here in San Diego. So please visit the site for more information about the other services that we offer. So I just want to jump right into the video. So as you may already know, over 90% of the population, when they need a product or service, no matter what it is, roofing, carpet cleaning, limousine, real estate, uh, you know, I want to find the closest cafe, it doesn't matter. They're going to use Google, all right? Um, and 96% of them are going to click on the very first page, only 4% click on the second page. So this is what that looks like. So if you're ranked number one, um, you can corner 35% uh, of all the consumers. All right, And as you can see, if you're ranked number 11, which starts at page two, that drops down dramatically to not even 1%. All right, so to find your business, somebody would have to type in uh, roofing Costa Mesa, or Costa Mesa Roofing or Orange County Roofing or a Roofing Company in Costa Mesa. All these common keywords, okay? Um, so I want to show you the word roofing gets searched in Orange County and Costa Mesa um, 320 times on average per month, okay? Just that one keyword. Now, altogether, there's an average of 12, 11 to 12 to 13, even 14,000. Um, searches every single month someone looking for a roofing company or a roofing contractor in your area okay so that's huge and here are all the keywords people are using to find a business roofing companies roofing company roofing contractors roof repair um, roof replacement cost uh, all of these different keywords okay almost uh, upwards of uh, 14,000 times per month Okay, so there's a huge potential to corner a very large audience um, for your business. Um, so, of course, we want to target the most popular ones that target, uh, that bring in the most traffic, right? Um, so, for this example, for this video, I'm going to stick to the word roofing because it's the most common, most popular uh, keyword that you could rank in. Um, and it's pulling, you know, over 300 uh, buyers per month just in your area. So, um, so for some of the key, some of the searches, you know, I, you, I looked up, uh, I looked up, uh, roofing Costa Mesa. Okay. To be honest and upfront, I didn't find you on the maps. So this is your Google maps. This shows the very local businesses and this is the organics. Okay. Obviously the goal is to get you top of here, wherever you want to click and top of here. If you're number one here, number one here, that could be up to 70% of the total clicks that you could get to your website. Um, so I couldn't find you on this on these at all, you know, and I also searched uh, roofing Orange County Which is a much larger uh, search. It's the whole city and Costa Mesa is a small city of Orange County Couldn't find you in there at all. So if you're not on the first page you might as be might as well be on page 20 Okay, because they're, they're not gonna find you um, So just to give you an idea. I want to show you how much clicks you get to versus your competitors So I did a scan with SEM rush. It shows you um, all of your data as far as who's going to your website. It looks like the, either the website's very new or very old. And from looking at the website, it looks like it's, it's outdated. Um, it took a very long while for the website to load on, on my computer, um, you know, which is a red flag. So that, that's definitely something that we need to look at. Um, but it's not really being recognized on Google. Okay. Um, let me show you your top competitor in all of Orange County is orangecountyroofing.com. They're getting, um, you know, 180 to up to two, nearly 200 new visitors per month uh, to their website. So they're really cleaning up. And obviously that's, that's the kind of market that we want to drive for your business. Um, and, but the only thing is we have to fix a lot of these discrepancies with your website that I'm about to show you, okay? So how do we get you there? How do we get all these consumers and get all these all this business to your website? So Google has an algorithm, right? It's got 
200 determining factors. All right, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. We nail these, everything else kind of falls into place. The first one is I'm going to talk about your website and the, just the aesthetics of your website. So 68, 60 to 80% of people, when they need a product or service, they're actually going to use their iPhone or Android, all right, their mobile device. So you have to look great on a mobile device. And Google takes it very, very seriously. Google just released a, a brand new algorithm um, uh, update that actually penalized websites and businesses like yourself and knocked them all the way down off the rankings. So your website, here's the, here's the proof. Your website is not mobile friendly, contact wider than the screen, various reasons. Um, so this web design is outdated and definitely you, you definitely would need a new website um, if you're going to survive in the future of uh, online marketing, especially with Google where the majority of the population are finding you know, business and services. Um, so that is the, definitely the first thing that we need to tackle. Okay. And we build out Google and mobile friendly websites, no problem, completely custom to your likings and that will be relevant to your business and what you serve in your business. Um, next, authoritative content. So once we get the site up, what we want, what Google wants to know, do you have authoritative content? Do you have relative keyword research and information built on the home page? Are you mentioning, you know, roofing companies in Orange County or Costa Mesa. Are you mentioning that you do roof repair? Do you men do you mention shingles? Do you remember? Uh, excuse me. Do you mention um, all your different types of services on an abundance amount of information? Okay. You do have a couple few sentences here, and that's pretty much it. And a couple sentences down here. This is maybe not even 100 words of content. We want to shoot from 1,000 to 2,000 words of authoritative content. And just to give you an example. All right, I went to Google and typed in elephant. Okay, just bear with me. Look what's number one, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is number, notorious for popping up number one because of their authoritative content. Look at all the information on this page, uh, the evolution of elephants, what they eat, their habitat, everything, you name it. This is probably 50,000 plus words. You know, Wikipedia just writes content like crazy. But this is why they're always number one on these one keyword searches is because of authoritative content, all right? Google sees that they're educating people and, and, and putting all this information on the page. So again, this is a lot, but I want to give you, I just wanted to give you an idea. We definitely need 1,000 to 2,000 words on the home page. Okay. So that's number two. Number three, um, I'm going to talk to you about business listings. We also call these citations. Okay. So these are very important. This is how we get our name and business out on the internet for people to find us. Okay, some examples are obviously like Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, and White Pages. When we do them, we have to have our business name, address, and phone number listed correctly because if not, Google is going to penalize us. So you have a 76% error rate, which is um, pretty harsh. All right, and the reason why it's because you have uh, it looks like you know there's some discrepancies in the address. Um, you're missing a uh, Yelp. If you do have a Yelp, you probably don't have any of the relevant information that's registered with Google, so it's not even recognized. It, so that's a discrepancy. Um, you're not listing this one. You, there, again, there's always there looks like there's consistent discrepancies with the address. So you get the picture, right? Um, these are the top 50 citations in the country. You definitely want to be in all of these, um, but there's thousands. And we want to get you listed in hundreds over time, all right, to beat the competition. All right, so that's citations, okay? No, that's number three. Let me talk to you about the last one. Um, the last one is backlinks. We also call them influence pages, all right? So say you have a client thoroughly impressed with the new roof. Say they have a blog or a website. What's going to happen is they're going to mention you on the Internet on that blog. So anyone reading the article can click a link can, that can go to your website. This is great for you because now you have a new prospect. But most importantly, Google takes this as a vote. Google is a huge popularity contest. It's like running for president, all right? The more votes you get, the more chances you're going to win, all right? These are your votes. So let me show you what these numbers mean. These referring domains means there's two websites mentioning you four times on the internet right now. And this trust flow of zero is the quality of these domains. This is what Google's looking at. and wants to know that you have high quality domains in abundance. Okay. So let me show you. This is the, um, the trust flow grading uh, meter. Okay. So at zero, obviously, you're not meeting high quality or low quality. So what's great about us 
with AMP Local, we have unlimited amounts of high quality domains to link your website to. We'll write published articles and link your website to these domains and give you the, uh, the influence links necessary um, to have a successful business and website ranked online and, and to pull more leads. So that's, that's what you're going to need. Um, just to give you an example, uh, let's see, I'll pull up, I had some case studies I was going to show you, but I'll go ahead and this is one of our clients um, in San Diego called San Diego Auto Connection. They're a huge used auto dealer. Um, and one of the biggest keywords we rank them for, it's, it, there's many keywords to use them, but San Diego Auto Dealers is a common keyword people are using. And we have them ranked number three um, in the maps and number one organic, which is huge. These guys are cleaning up. But anyway, let me show you what their um, uh, trust flow is. Let me show you where we got them. So their trust flow is at 22. All right, we have 87 links point to them, and we have 534 backlinks, which is huge. All right, so all of our backlinks are all of our backlinks are trust flow 20 and higher, and 25. Some of them are off the charts. All right, so this is very very important to consider. Um, and obviously, as you can see, where they're ranked, that's why because of their high trust flow. Okay, um, just some other data. You know, this is a quick case study I wanted to throw in the video for you. So this is how much traffic they're getting to their website. You know, almost about 2,400 new visitors per month that are looking for a car. That's crazy. All right, they're, they're, these guys are getting a lot of attention here in San Diego. So I'm really happy that we took them on. When we first took them, they were on like page three and four, um, you know, way in the back, and we got them all the way ranked number one. Um, just after about 90 days too. I think we took them on early January. So that's awesome stuff. Uh, another case study I want to throw in here real quick. Um, we also do lead generation. So not only that we can work with your current site, but we can build out custom sites in multiple cities and small cities, rank them number one, and just pull all the leads back to your business. So for example, we have a party bus and limo client in San Diego. Uh, we built them a lead generation website in Escondido and ranked it um, it's ranked number two right here and it's ranked you know number one just dominating the local map listings for Escondido party bus you know very common search um, here in in, uh, in Escondido so they're cleaning up as well let me show you um, so when we build the lead generation websites we're able to put a tracking phone number and email to see all the phone calls that come through so in the past 90 days they've received nearly 600 um, phone calls, which is crazy, you know, three, that's 200 phone calls a month. You know, what could that do for your business? Right. Um, not, not to mention emails. I'm not going to pull up the emails cause there's so many, but there is an additional 400 emails, um, in the past 90 days. So that's, uh, you know, over 300 leads per month. Uh, you know, and they, and they charge anywhere between 500 and $1,500, uh, per, per, uh, per party bus or limo rental. So, those guys are doing really great. I'm really happy to have them. So that's what it, really what it's all about. You know, it, it's just gratification of helping um, local businesses like yourself. You know, if you guys are successful and 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 getting leads and closing deals, you know, we have Amp Local and, and my company. We don't have anything to worry about, and you know, we would love to partner with you and and help you grow your business and and get some more leads going, uh, and definitely fix these errors because um, you know the future of marketing now. Is now and you know the internet and Google isn't going anywhere so um, that concludes my analysis Jerry I really appreciate the time that you took to watch this um, please consider what I showed you and and uh, and give reach back out to me give me a call um, and let me know your thoughts I'd love to take the next steps in helping you grow your business online and get these er errors rectified and um, again thanks for your time and I'll be hearing from you soon have a nice day